Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss another interesting question on the topic of binary tree that is nothing but top view of a binary tree. So before moving on to the question, there are some prerequisite for this question that is nothing but vertical level order traversal of a binary tree and the second is width of a binary tree. Why this question are so much important for this particular question just because in this particular video we are not going we are not going to perform anything we will just try to understand the problem statement and then we will write the code of vertical level order traversal i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say <coughs> and if you're not getting please go and watch that video okay and if you have watched that video then why to waste time let's move on to the question uh, question part okay so here also we are provided with a binary tree. Let me create a binary tree at first. So here I'm creating it is three, one, one, and zero. Again, you might be thinking that why I'm laying so much stress on creating a binary tree just be, uh, just to make you understand well. Okay. So here two, here five. Okay. So ten and four. Okay, four, four here. Fifteen, fifteen. Similarly, nine and i'm assuming here 11 12 and 13 and 14 okay so this is a binary tree this is a binary tree this is a binary tree so what we need to do in this question what we need to do in this question what uh what our assumption in this question is that there is a person who is looking at this binary tree from the top okay as this person is looking uh, from the top of this binary tree what are what we need to do is that we just need to tell all those nodes which are available to this uh, uh, viewers means uh, we just need to tell all those nodes uh, which this user will be able to look at uh, so let's try to understand what are all those nodes which the user will be able to see at first he will be able to see the node having that value zero then one then three then six then ten and then eleven okay uh, you might be thinking that why i'm so much damn sure that only those nodes will be visible to the user okay not all these nodes which are lying be uh, lying after these nodes okay so let's try to understand why only these nodes and why not those nodes okay so at first thing we will try to understand for these two and five okay so here you can see the two and five nodes are actually lying at the same level okay actually lying at the same position so there may be possibility that one node will overlap the another node means either two will come at first or either five will come at first okay so at first uh, there is no there is no uh there is a possibility that one of the node get uh <coughs> hidden by the another node okay as both of these are lying at the same position now moving on to the uh why both of these nodes will not be available to the user this is just because this uh these nodes as uh, these are coming one after the other are uh, they are actually hiding one of the node um and both of these nodes are actually hidden by this three that is this root node why because when i perform <coughs> when if i create a line uh vertical line like this i i will be able to see that this three will hide all these nodes which are lying on the same line after these nodes okay means this three will hide this two five along with this 12. moving to this 15 and 9 also here also the same type of work will be done by this six six will hide this 15 9 and this 14 node so that means all those nodes which are lying <coughs> which are actually hidden by any other node will not uh, will not be available to the user but only those nodes which are not hidden by any of the nodes and only those nodes which are lying at the outer periphery or outer boundary of the binary tree will be available to the uh, user okay so now let's move on to the intuition part here uh, again uh, before moving on to the intuition i will say the same please go and watch the vertical level order traversal and the width of a binary tree because both of these video are the prerequisite for this question now if you have watched that video i'm believing it let's move on to the understanding okay of this question so at first we know how to perform the vertical level order traversal and, <coughs> and what i know what i'll do at first i will find the vertical level order traversal of this tree so the vertical level order traversal will be nothing but something like this okay i'm assuming that this node will go like this okay so here you can see that some of the lines are <coughs> tilted it is just because uh our binary tree are little bit hindered okay by any of any of the reason okay so so uh we were writing the we were writing the uh 
vertical level order traversal for each level okay we know for the vertical level order traversal we have we also have one more thing that is nothing but the array list of array list so let me create this array list and let me assign a level to each or each of the line so here i'm writing at zero minus one minus two minus plus one plus two and plus three okay but but you know that the indexing in the array list starts from the zero i can't write minus two or minus one or minus anything into my array list so in my array list indexing starts from zero so here zero one two three four five that means this two uh, means this line in the binary tree will be nothing but showing this zero level in my <laughs> in my array list okay i have explained uh, like we have explained all these things that why we are doing this uh, and why we are mapping this minus two as a zero level in the array list we have explained all these things in the videos uh, there is a dedicated video on this vertical level order traversal please go and watch that okay if you haven't watched till now so moving forward so for this level uh minus two what are all these nodes which will be uh which will be get while performing the vertical level order traversal we get zero nothing but zero moving forward for this one we get this one four and thirteen one four and thirteen for this level zero that is nothing but for this level two we get three two five twelve 3, 2, 5, and 12. For this level 3, we get 6, 59, and 14. 6, 59, and 14. Okay. Here also we'll get nothing but 10. And here we get 11. Okay. This is nothing but the vertical level order traversal of a binary tree. Now let's try to understand how this vertical level order traversal helps us to find out our answer our answer was nothing but we need to tell all those nodes which will available to the user if we start looking at the binary tree from the top and what was our answer our was our answer was only those nodes which are lies at the outer periphery of a binary tree that is this 0 1 3 6 10 and 11 so here you can see what if i say that this 0 1 3 6 10 and 11 are nothing but the nodes which are lying at first uh, while performing the vertical level order traversal there may be possibility you don't get what i'm trying to say right now like we have performed the vertical level order traversal and we have stored each and every node in our array list but here you can see that the first node of each level is nothing but the node which is available to the user when he start looking at the top that is this zero was nothing but here you can see is available to the user similarly this one is nothing but available to the user this three also this six ten and eleven also available to the user but if we start looking at the other nodes which is not the first node of the vertical level order traversal these nodes are actually hindered by or hidden by any of the another node okay this four get four and thirteen are actually lying here and are actually hindered by this or hidden by this one so i hope you get the uh intuition or the solution of this problem statement what we need to perform is that we just need to we just need to work just like we were doing in the vertical level order traversal we will we will perform a little bit like the vertical level order, order traversal but this time we don't need to store each and every node we will just store the first node which we encounter while while performing vertical level order traversal and the moment we find any of the node we will we will we will save it and we will not update it okay so that's all for the solution okay yeah one more thing is that let's let's try to understand it with the with a okay? small dry run with the help of q okay with the help of q yeah here at first we put zero at first we put zero uh sorry not the zero this three at first we put this three into the into the queue and let me here also create an array list let me write here zero okay right let me write here at zero one two three four and five the moment i encounter this three i'll remove it i'll update it at the particular level that is nothing but two i'll update it here okay i will add its subsequent children that is one and six one and six okay now again i'll keep on performing i'll remove this node i'll update it at the subsequent uh, particular level that is nothing at this one okay and i will add its children that is nothing but zero and two in the into the array zero and two we move forward okay uh next node is nothing but six 
remove it from the queue we'll update it into the array list we'll update it here okay we'll add it subsequent children that is 5 and 10 5 and 10 uh, we add it here and <clears throat> we keep on performing the same we remove this zero okay uh where is zero this zero we update it into the particular level this particular level and we keep on performing these things as zero don't have any of the children we don't need to add anything to the error list let's keep remove uh, let's remove the other another node that is this two we will update it at the yeah here we don't need to update it okay like we are performing top view of our binary means we don't need to update it as uh as some value are actually lying at that particular level okay means we just discard this two as this two don't have any of the children we, we can't add anything into the queue we just discard this two let's move forward we remove this five as for this level of the five there are something which is actually residing there we can't update that value so we'll add it subsequent children that is nothing but four and fifteen similarly for this ten uh here we check that at the level ten means the level at which this 10 node can be present this level is actually uh, nothing but the null so means we can update it so we i will update it with the 10 we move forward we'll add its children that is nothing but 10 9 and 11 we'll remove this 4 and as this 4 don't have any children we will easily discard it we remove this 15 as this 15 don't have any children we will easily discard it we remove this 9 as 9 have some children like 12 okay and okay yeah nine, the position the level at which nine will be present was already uh, taken by some value so means we can't update it so we'll just discard this nine we move forward we remove this 11 we will put this 11 at the level <laughs> five okay, and this 12 13 and 14 okay these values also will not be able to update any of the value into the array just because the level at which these these nodes will try to access uh at these levels there were uh, all already residing some values which we can't update it i hope you get it let's move on to the pack coding portal and there we will try to code it okay so here we are writing top view of a binary tree top view of a binary tree this vpr class okay so let me remove this code at first and then we will write this code okay this array list now what we'll do at first we will again write the code of width function okay let me write the code of width function that is public static void width void it was void width tree node root int hl int min max if root equals to equals to null null uh, is actually written to the small value okay now return okay min max zero equals to math dot main uh, one thing which I want to <coughs> want to tell you right now is that I'm not going to explain the each and every line of the code just because I expect that you have watched the dedicated videos on particular on this question. Okay, these are nothing but the questions that is finding the width and performing the uh, vertical level of the traverse. So these are actually the dedicated question, and I believe that you have already watched its video. Okay, so I'm just right. Uh, I'm just going to write the code here. Okay of these functions min max one at last i'll just make the recursive call with root dot left with root dot left and hl plus one min max min max similarly wid th width root dot right shell minus one uh, sorry for the left we will perform minus one for the right we will perform plus one min max okay now let me create a pair class what is the requirement of pair class i hope you already remember 
we have we had a long discussion of it on the vertical avalodo traversal okay so it is used to calculate the vertical avalodo traversal that's why let me create it just because here also we are going to use the same concept v pair let me write the v pair v pair okay free node free node node equals to null and int hl equals to zero Similarly, v pair free node node int hl this dot node equals to and this dot hl equals to hl so that's all for this vpair class let's complete the function of the rls top view okay let's complete its function <coughs> so at first we will create the error list error, error list to store the uh, to store our required answer let me name it as error list and new error list and if we if our root is null in any of the case what we'll do we will just return this empty answer okay now let me create a 2d matrix <coughs> not a 2d matrix a matrix min max having two positions only new int 2 and this min max matrix will be used to calculate the uh to calculate the width of a binary tree now let me call this function width root 0 min and max okay now let me calculate the length min max 1 minus min max 0 plus 1 now let me update with the initial values uh, update update this error list with some initial values for int i equals to 0 i is less than i is less than actually length okay length and i plus plus uh, answer dot add null null now let write the main code okay let it first before writing the uh, while loop let me create a linked list actually i'm creating here the queue okay queue store the value of v pair q equals to new jd linked list okay and let me add some value to the q new v pair new v pair root mat dot absolute okay min max of zero now we are going to write the main code while q dot size is greater than zero is greater than zero what we'll do here what we'll do first here we will uh, run the another loop q for those particular nodes which are actually residing into the q okay while size minus minus is greater than zero okay while size minus minus is greater than equals to zero now what i'll do i will remove a pair from a q v pair rp equals to q dot remove first first remove first okay now tree node node equals to rp dot node dot rp dot node and int hl equals to rp dot hl let me extract values from that remove node and if answer dot get hl if that value is not actually assigned by any other value shall if that value is null let me assign it my value with my hl value okay hl dot hl comma node dot value otherwise what i need to do i just need to discard that node okay uh, yeah before discarding that node i just need to check whether it's node dot left or node dot right is already added into the queue or not if it is not added i just need to add it okay similarly here also 
no dot write is not equals to null so q dot add last new v pair and no dot left hl minus one here also q dot add last new v pair node dot right gst hl plus one okay and at last what we need to do we just need to return the array list okay return answer array list so that's all for this code uh, i'm going to run it and if you if you encounter any of the errors we will resolve it okay so here we get the error uh, let me check it so okay we are getting this error just because here we don't need to write the main we need to write the max it was my mistake i write it here main okay so let's try to submit it and yeah it is accepted let's try to run it for all the test cases and at last i just want to say one thing if you like this video if you like this content please share it with your friends subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the like button and here you can see it is accepted for all the test cases that's all for this video. We will meet in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy.